Okay, so now that we've got our charts set up for both the arrow strategy and the trend report strategy, uh, we're going to go over the arrow strategy um, in this video. We're going to go over the scanner. Um, it, there's not much to it, just a few buttons here. And then we're also going to go over how we can use the main chart to look for trades. And if we do like the uh, setup and it's given us our big arrow plus the candle analyzer, um, is telling us that we should be getting in and looking for some shorts or longs. Um, we'll go over that as well. And then we'll set up the EA um, and how it auto auto knows which direction to trade and also how the scanner will open up the chart, um, our entry chart based on which button we pick here. So, okay, so a little bit to go over and uh, try not to make it too long here. I'm not gonna go through all the all the uh, the signals on the chart. We'll just look for a, a half decent one here. Set up the EA um, so that you guys know what to look for and how to do it. So, okay, let's get started. Uh, there's not much to the scanner here. Uh, the main thing here is the menu. Um, if your font size is a little bit off, like in video one, I showed you how to adjust it. So you're gonna go up to the menu here, click on the uh, icon here that says open menu. Okay, and you're gonna see the menu pop up. It's gonna give you the font settings and the font size and you can just adjust it there. Okay, and then we can just hit the X button and close that off. Uh, now to run the scanner here, it's turned off by default. Uh, you hover over these three buttons. We got the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. And you can just see it says uh, run the H1 scanner here and then run the four hour scanner and run the daily scanner. So all we're gonna do is click the button. Okay, and it's gonna run it. Uh, now you can see we've got our alerts here. Uh, one thing to notice that if you have your notifications set up and also your email set up within the MT4, then it's not just going to be the alert that will be uh, done here. It'll be the alert, the notifications, and the email all in one, okay? So in order to get the notifications and the emails, you do have to set that up within your MT4 uh, platform, okay? And now we can check the four hour. Okay, so nothing's lit up on the four hour, and then we'll check daily. Okay, uh, one thing we want to have turned on is our auto trading here. So that way, once we open up uh, the entry charts and apply our UFX arrows auto trader, um, it will take the trades for us. So make sure that your auto trading is turned to green here. Okay, um, also, one thing to note that these will continuously run. Um, every hour you're going to look, it's going to scan for the one hour, um, uh, setups. And then every four hours, it's going to scan our four hour setups. And then obviously daily, we're going to scan the daily setups. Okay. So this will auto, uh, scan for you at those time frames when these are green here and lit up. So, okay. If you want to turn it off right now, we got nothing on the four hour, so we can just click on this and it'll turn it off. If we wanted to turn off the one hour. Uh, just hover over it and uh, turn it off and you can see it's all grayed out now So we're not going to get any signals and it's right up here. So um, pretty simple. That's about it for the scanner um, Now let's get in to find a trade um, Let's just click through we've got our symbols down here set to daily on the main chart um, And we're just going to go through what's lit up here. We've got the odd USD so we can just quickly hover down here go to the odd USD and just see if it's uh, a nice setup. So we got the red arrow. We're at a resistance area. Now we want to turn on the candle analyzer, right? It's red, so it's turned off. So let's turn it on. And we're looking for a big red bar. We want the previous bar to be a big red bar in order to open up our entry chart uh, and apply the autos trader to it. So um, let's go down here to the list. And we'll look at the pound USD. Okay, and you can see there's the red bar here uh, and the big red arrow. So we could have put it on last night and just see if we got, or yesterday, and just see if we got a trade up in this area looking for some shorts um, on the pullback. So it might not have, and it might, uh, you might want to keep it running. Okay, we could put it on the, on the uh, pound USD and see if we get a pullback up into this area and then look for shorts. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. We'll check out the Euro USD. Okay. Same thing. We are up near the top here. We've got the 
uh, big red arrow, but there is no red candles. Okay, the pound New Zealand is giving us a green signal on the daily, so we can see that we've got uh, the big green arrow, just no green candles yet. So, um, you know what? We're gonna just test out on the pound New Zealand. Um, I wouldn't actually put it on there right now because we do want to wait for the big green candle, but I do want to show you um, how we can set up the EA so that it'll auto trade for us and how it's going to know which direction to trade. So um, we'll do it on, we'll set up the short here for the Euro USD and we'll also set up a long here uh, for the pound New Zealand so you guys can see both directions that it knows which way to go um, and trade for us. All we're going to do is uh, click on the daily. Uh, you're going to see it says open the pound New Zealand 15 minute chart. So the daily and the four hour are entry charts the 15 minute. If we hover over the H1, it's going to say open the pound New Zealand five minute chart. So, okay, so our entry for the one hour is five minutes. Uh, so let's just click on this and we've opened it up the pound New Zealand to the 15 minute. All we're going to do now is drag and drop our arrows auto trader onto the chart and click OK. Now you're going to see on the first uh, initial drop of it, it's a little funky here. Um, we're going to change our uh, font size and just so we can see it uh, 10 is what's acceptable for my computer okay also one thing to notice on your initial drop you're gonna have to uh, put in the lot size your fixed lot size that you want to trade uh, so based on your account um, right now I've only got the fixed lot size I don't have it um, set to auto adjust the lot size at the moment um, so we can change this uh, do some good risk management. It might take two or three tries uh, to get into a good trade. So just be aware of that. Um, so whatever lot size you use, uh, you would have normally use, say you're gonna use a point, uh, point zero 0.06 or a one mini lot, divide it by three, uh, because chances are you're gonna take maybe um, two or three entries to get into a good trade, okay? So be, be cautious of that, okay? And then just type in your number here and hit enter it's going to come up into here so we know it's been entered into the system and it's going to when it takes a buy trade here it's going to trade at 0 0.1 lots okay okay and that's all you're going to do just make sure you hit uh, enter and put it in so let's keep it at one mini lot here um, and you can see that it's looking for buy trades um, we don't have to click on looking for buys or looking for sells. It automatically knows which direction to go here uh, based on clicking off of the scanner. Um, if you want to turn the alerts on, you can just simply click on the alerts and same with the notifications and uh, the emails. Um, if you want to turn them off, just click on them again. Uh, and now you'll be alerted when a trade takes place. Okay. Um, so now let's go in here. We've got this set up. We'll go back to our scanner and we're going to do the same with the Euro USD. I just want to show you how it's going to auto adjust uh, looking for cells. So we're going to click on the daily. It's going to take us to the Euro USD 15 minute chart. Okay, and then we're just going to drag and drop the arrows auto trader on here. Click OK. And now you can see that our settings are saved here. Uh, the fixed lot size is automatically set to uh, 0.1 mini lot now. Uh, we can change it and adjust it if we want. Um, we're looking for cells and then we can just turn on our alerts uh, to be notified of the trades. Okay, so pretty basic, pretty easy. Um, all the work is done for us. And uh, that is it for the Arrows Auto stra uh, Autos strategy. Uh, we will talk to you guys later.